guys, welcome back to the workshop. So the day is just gonna be a quick video. Um thought it'd be something cool to make a video with. I've had this uh, old hammer heat, it's a Bergen and Ball Sheffield number two. Um I've had this for years. I bought it in a you know a job a lot of stuff that I bought off eBay years ago and I'd always been meaning to put a, a handle on it. Uh, my missus uh, got me this uh, for my birthday so it was for the kids um, and I was gonna you know chop this this uh, heat off it and put that one on but I think we'll just make it rain and I've no go you know ash or hickory would be good uh, but I've got this bit of oak here um, so we'll use this 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 should be more than adequate because um, I'm I'm not doing any heavy work with it. So I um, so first we'll just we'll we'll get this cleaned right up so it's uh, nice and shiny and polished, and then we'll move on to making the handle. So I'm not going to do too much with it. I want to keep the you know the imprint, you know the name and the number two. So. Just going to get a wee light clean up with a used, you know, sand pad. Gonna finish it off with some three uh, three twenty 
and that's basically just because it's nice and smooth as it is now. Uh, I took it up to what two forty though with a with a sander. Uh, but we just why I got all the the lines that obviously was left by the sander. So spend a wee five minutes going at it and getting away, getting all the lines away, uh, and then we can make a wedge. See, I want to make. I want to make a wedge to put in there, so we'll put a wedge in that bit, and then I'll make it just to, like once that's bit, uh, once that bit's in, uh, I'm just going to make a wee, just a wee metal wedge, maybe just a wee metal pin, to just drive right through the middle of it, and that'll just squeeze it all together. Look. So there we go, <laughs> and I quite like that shape, um, you know, it gives you a good grip up the top here, um, well, you can hold it in the middle, no bother, and then you can hold it at the bottom, no, no problem, um, and it's comfy, and it's, it's not too big, but it's not too small, you know, it's not bulky, and I took it down, you know, I took a good bit off at this, on the sides, um, while still keeping this wee bulky bit here, and a wee bit of bulkiness down there, and it's a wee bit smaller in the middle. Um, I, I quite like it. it looks it looks cool. You know, so <coughs> we've made our wee wedge. So a couple more hits. So it starts to dig in here. Right, perfect. One more. Mm. Let's get that in there. So, just made a wee metal wedge. I'm a heat. Yeah. And it will sand this down so it's flush with the hammer. Let's get a wee bit of oil, linseed oil on it. A wee bit. Now I just dried it up. It had all soaked in it basically. Uh, it's nice, man. I like it. And it looks sweet. It looks cool, man. You know? It looks more like an axe horn. <laughs> but it's, it's the same concept. You know? Like you're, you're swinging, you're swinging. You know? You don't. You got this loop, uh, this curve here, and then a you know a ball area, for in case it slips. And, you know you've got an area to grab it. You know hammer like that. You know if it slips at your horn, it's you, you, there, there is no recovery for that. But when you've got you know like that, then there is recovery for it. Look. Aye. So let's do some tests, and we'll see if it breaks on the first swing. <laughs> Solid. I'm happy with it, man, and it looks sweet. You know? So there you go, guys. There you go. <laughs> um, it looks sweet. It looks better than with the, you know, the way it did. Look, sitting in my drawer, all black, rusty. <laughs> um, but I, I'll put it use, you know, when I need a hammer. Um, sorry. There you go guys, I hope you always enjoyed watching, um, cheers for watching, I appreciate you watching my videos, um, look forward to the next couple of projects, I've got uh, a grinder slash sander 
um, in the works and then obviously my marble machine but I really do need um, the sander, the grinder um, just to well, certain shapes that I need certain profiles and you know, angles um, I can't really do it any other way so uh, you know to have a you know a one one uh, a one inch sander um, we would be cool because you know I can sand you know really like certain profiles that I'm you know thinking that I'll need today when making the parts for a marble machine or whatever else beneficial to have you know uh, a one by forty two or something um, but I could make it so the wheels are adjustable so I could really make it you know two by 42 um, but then I could change the, uh, the contact wheel to like a, a one by 42 and then I can make the table so the, the you know the plate in itself is adjustable so that you can you, you know you could potentially have a you know a lot bigger sander I took my uh, my motor off my bandsaw so I've got that and I've got the, the switch, so you know the power side there is uh, sorted. So it is just about designing, you know, the actual frame, the wheels, and then get building it. But that's something that's really cool to have and important when you're, you know, trying to create certain profiles and certain profiles, certain shapes. And um, so I, that's something I'll need when it comes to making certain things, certain parts for the marble machine so I will see you in the next project guys alright take it easy and remember guys to build some see you later guys